What up, Doak Hunters? JP Doak Hunt dropped a video randomly on Twitter at 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I was not awake for it, obviously, which is why you're getting this video now a little bit later. But we're going to go over everything that was covered in here uh, to the best of my abilities. This is obviously in Japanese, so I can't give you a full-on uh, minute-to-minute translation for this one. But I'm going to cover the gist of what this is. If you guys want extra translations for every single thing discussed, I would recommend you guys go watch Goresh's video. I will link his video in the description or in the pinned comment. So without further ado, let's check this out and let's see what he has to say. The LR banners have been revealed. Yes, there are two. And we were given some easy A's. So let's take a look. All right, what do we got here? Alright, so that's the producer. His name is Omatsu. See, I'm good at translating. This is for part two, if that wasn't obvious. The overall theme is Spirit Bomb, which should be obvious, and that theme is going to continue in part two. So let me just rip the bandit off right now, folks. If you're thinking that Kid Buu and Omega Shenron are coming up, nope, they're not doing it. They are continuing Spirit Bomb. So the, the enemies of the Spirit Bomb, <laughs> no, and no. A different scene from the Spirit Bomb. And what they're going to be doing here is they're going to be using the anime openings as like the main anchor for the Part 2 celebration. So it's not just Spirit Bomb, but they're also going to be basing this off of something a little bit different. This is not necessarily Saga themed. This is more tethered to the anime opening, which, to be fair, you know, that's new. That's interesting. So I'm cool with it, you know? What they're saying right there, it says anime opening. And it shows the kid Gohan from the Dragon Ball Z intro. Fascinating. Now, here is the first new event. So this is like a special new music event that basically commemorates the various openings from Dragon Ball's history. So this is, I think it's like called like Dragon Ball opening medley or something like that. So what you see in the image is actually pretty cool. They show the Dragon Ball intro, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Kai. Then they show Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball GT. And if you're thinking they're going to be doing any uh, English songs, no, it's all Japanese. For, you know, I, when this drops on global, I don't think they would also do anything Western wise. It's all going to be JP themed, but still. I'm just thinking, like, what if they do step into the grand tour and they actually put that in there? That'd be hilarious. Oh, Dragon Ball anime opening This is like a special music event. Like, you can see the little symbols here. And these are the songs that can be obtainable via burst mode. So they're going to be doing some burst mode thing uh, as well. And these are all the different songs. You can see Chala, Head Chala, We Got a Power, Dandan, Dan, Dragon Soul. Limit Breaker Survive is down here. Let me know in the comments, what are your top three Dragon Ball songs? I know a lot of people uh, are going to have different opinions on this one, so this will probably be a very interesting uh, comment section. But for me, my favorite, I guess favorite, I don't really have a third. I'm going to say top two. So yeah, let me know your top two songs. So for me, Dragon Soul is one of them. I love the Dragon Ball Z Kai intro. And then I also like Limit Breaker Survive. Da -da 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 -na 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 -na. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. What's the, what's the second last one? Chozetsu. Oh, that's the Dragon Ball Super intro. So these are all going to be available for um, purchase during the, the burst mode thing. So. You can also get a wallpaper from this. Oh, you can get a wallpaper and you can get more spirit bomb energy from this. Okay, cool. All right, let's, yeah, this is the next part. So I was going to say, this is the next major thing that they discuss. This is a new link leveling event, uh, similar to the Metacooler. Link level event that we got during the worldwide download. It's going to be available three times every seven days. And with this, you are getting a significantly higher chance to 
gain links on your event. So there's going to be a much higher link level coefficient. And then also from the rewards that you obtain from this, assuming you probably just do the event a bunch of times, uh, you will get some tune keys. So you'll be getting access to those keys for free that you can take into the quote unquote paywalled Kai stage where you get guaranteed link level up. So that was obviously a big point of contention for some people. The fact that they essentially paywalled guaranteed link level ups. Um, for me, I didn't really see much of a problem with it, but I understand some people being upset about it. Now they are going to be offering five of those tune keys for the missions that are completed from this event. So basically, if you guys were to buy the normal tune key bundle, you're getting a fourth of them for free from this event. So, I mean, I'll take that, right? So for those of you who care about links, this is going to be a great way to boost it, uh, not a guarantee. And then with the keys that you get, that will give you one set of guaranteed link level ups with one team, basically. So bring your all your level nine units on your favorite teams, take them into the Kai stage and get your link level ups for free. Let's actually move ahead here. We don't need to, we don't need to sit around and listen to all this. So now let's talk about the upcoming part two. Part two's legendary summon. So it's basically a dual legendary summon. They are not doing another dual Dokkan festival. And what confounds me is that they're actually going with a double carnival format. After this whole big announcement about the whole like new carnival LR being a way to sort of incentivize people's activity in, in like the second half, they did the dual Dokkan Festival carnival setup in the worldwide download, and they've seemingly abandoned that. And now they're going to be doing a dual carnival setup for part two. And that's what this is right here. So if you're wondering what this is, this is the anime opening characters. This is the kid Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. This is the Goku from Dragon Ball Z Kai. Now, I personally thought that this was originally going to be the Limit Breaker Survive Dragon Ball Super Goku, uh, the one that fights Jiren when he's like kind of shifting through his different forms. Uh, this is apparently not that. So this is from Dragon Ball Z Kai, uh, as confirmed by a few people on Twitter. But there you have it. Those are the dual carnival summons. Look at the, look at the featured list here. Obviously, global players, we have a while to wait. But look at this. You got Golden Freeza. You got Metacooler. So the double w Wicked Bloodline characters. They are obviously bringing in legendary characters to fill out the Carnival roster. That's how they do it. And then you've got the Saiyan Saga characters here as well. You've got the Seven Year Part 2 and you got Saiyan Saga Goku Piccolo. And then for the Goku side, you got the Revive Goku. You got one of the best LRs aside from Carnival LRs out there with the What If Goku Gohan. And you've got Fusion Zamasu who randomly just kind of sticks out here and then Kaioken. So... Banners are looking stacked, obviously, because they have Carnival LRs, but I'm, I'm more surprised that they actually did it this way. I, I really thought that they weren't going to be doing like this anymore. So if you got, if JP players, you know, depending on what the unit does, I'm still of the mindset that like this is not as big of a, of a draw as the part one is because it's not Dokkan Festival, it's Carnival. But still, we'll have to wait and see what these guys do. We don't know what they do yet. So they're basically just talking about the fact that these are more Spirit Bomb themed characters. So there's not much else to discuss here. And then finally, EZAs. What EZAs are we getting for part D? We are getting Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku and we are getting the global first Blue Kaioken Goku. So the, the global salt will probably uh, be at, f at full effect in this one. But yeah, they are, <laughs> they are giving... These two units, the EZA treatment. Now, are these going to be the only ones? We don't know. Uh, they said that they will be announcing their like full details and stuff soon on Twitter. So stay tuned. So whenever that happens, I will make a video on it. I will cover it. Um, but yeah, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku and Blue Kaioken. Out of the two, I am more excited for the Spirit Bomb or for the Blue Kaioken because y'all know I am a big Tournament of Power fan, Universe Survival Saga. So whatever they do with this one, I cannot wait to see. This is one of the more offensively oriented characters. Uh, this guy can gain insane attack and often one of the strategies that people would use with this unit would be to just stack him up as much as possible. Obviously, there's great risk for it, but ultimately in the end, on the final turn, you can activate a Spirit Bomb causing ultimate damage and probably taking out several opponents. So I hope that this guy ends up looking pretty good. I hope he gets some like damage reduction. Um, he gets some guard or something because his whole premise is the more he gets hit, the stronger he becomes. And the less health you have, the more likely you can use the active skill. So if they can do something like that, oh, that's going to be good. So let's see what they do. Um, but yeah, this is a Dragon Ball Kai Goku. And this is a Dragon Ball Z Gohan. I I don't know. I was kind of hoping that it was Limit Breaker Survive. Because if it was, then that could have potentially meant that that was going to be a Dragon Ball Super Spirit Bomb Ultra Instinct sort of Goku. But it's not. So let me know your theories for what these EZAs could look like. Uh, there's really not much else here. That's all they cover in the video. 
So there will be more info that they drop on social media at some point. But I think this is cool in terms of like Spirit Bomb themed. They, I think they've done a pretty good job to really commemorate it. Obviously, there is no part two extreme units. Um, and also, people are probably wondering, are there going to be any EZAs for the five year anniversary? I think that's still on the table. I think that is probably going to be a part three situation, given that this is part two to continue Spirit Bomb. Maybe they save the anniversary LR EZAs for part three. Um, as far as the GT side, in terms of what the sort of EZAs they could get, I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to be giving us GT Golden Week Dual Dokkan Festival EZAs for uh, part two, part three. Maybe they do, but since they're very, uh, very much hellbent on focusing on the theme of Spirit Bomb, I don't think it necessarily matters having a balance between Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT, as clearly demonstrated here with their Dragon Ball Super rep with their EZA. So uh, that's going to be it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let in the comments your reaction to these two EZAs. Are you happy with the announcement for these two? Were there other Spirit Bomb-esque Gokus that you were hoping for? And what do you guys think about this new dual carnival format that they're doing for the part two for the eight-year anniversary do you like this do you not like this do you think that they are ever going to go back to the dokkan festival carnival format or was that a one-time thing that they misinformed people about i don't know let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments down below also be sure to subscribe for more dokkan set of the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you know when to see more of my stuff do it thanks again stay tuned and remember to dokkan responsibly